We are in the midst of a travel revolution from demographic shifts to new technologies to new business models. One of the reasons why travel and tourism is so important is it contributes almost 10% to our GDP. It's a huge job creator. It's almost one in 11 jobs. It encourages growth and education and really opens us up to what's happening in the world. The sector has a wide variety of uh, different jobs, service jobs, it's engineering jobs, it's uh, a lot of different skills. Tourism is uh, vitally important in emerging markets and I think it's great for trade. From tourism is when you first discover the potential of a country and ideas and business and different business flows start to happen. There are more people moving these days than in any other time in recorded history. The reaction of the world to this increased movement in people has been influenced unfortunately by what happened on 9-11 when people began to put more emphasis on security by the economic downturn in 2008-2009. Of course, uh, security shocks uh, may have an impact on the travel and tourism sector. So it's important that countries work, as they are doing, to put the security measures in place that can give confidence to the traveler. We see so many conflicts around the world at the moment. The electronic visa system, I think, would really facilitate security and it would facilitate travel. The best practices that we have at the moment of uh, other organizations, other countries, such as the United States with ESTA, the European Economic Area, Area with uh, Schengen and recently ASEAN is looking at doing the same thing. Precondition for getting people and merchandises to move faster, to travel at lower costs, is to simplify travel procedures, simpler visa procedures, faster customs clearance. This is what we have seen in East Africa, for example, increasing their travel experience in this region. I think um, tourism is one of the great under-leveraged, let's say, opportunities for Latin America. The challenges are more about connectivity and how you brand the offering to get scale. When you look at the long-term potential of travel, uh, if we can make sure we deal with the privacy issues in a way that's appropriate, and if we can get countries to collaborate, I think we have the potential to create a global trusted traveler program where travelers can apply, become certified as a trusted traveler, and essentially move then easily from border to border. This is about the convergence of new technologies reshaping entire systems. Some of the key technologies are emerging biometrics, which essentially answer the question of who is this passenger? Advanced data analytics, that essentially answers the question, is this passenger safe? A global trusted traveler program would enable seamless and safe, easy travel for all of us.